today for National Dead Eye Sling Day. Is, is that a day? Yes, I checked. Okay, perfect. So today for National Dead Eye Sling Day, we're talking about dead eye slings. And these happen to be dead eye slings that we spliced right here in our splicing shop in Butler, Pennsylvania. The reason I love dead eye slings is because they're the most versatile slings you can buy, really. You know, we have whoopee slings, which are nice. We have loopy slings, ooh la la. Nothing's more versatile than a dead eye sling because really all a dead eye sling is a piece of rope with one eye spliced on the end. So why an eye instead of a knot? You can take a piece of rope and tie a knot in it. Well, the eye's smoother, more streamlined, and it's much stronger. You know, this eye, you can expect this splice to hold 90% of the strength of just the rope. Really nice, strong configuration. So how do you use a dead eye sling? Well, you can use a dead eye sling for the block, and the block, the dead eye sling, the eye goes into the upper shiv, sheave, sheave. You could also use a dead eye sling to anchor your porter wrap to the tree. So you'll pass this through what they call the large loop on the bottom, pass the hardware through, and girth hitch this on here. I like so. How can you use a dead eye sling to tie your hardware to the tree? Well, here this sling is plenty long enough that we can actually tie a cow hitch, which is a wonderful kind of a hitch. So this is, in effect, just tying a girth hitch with one side of the line. So. As you can see, we have our cow hitch, so I'm gonna do a girth hitch, but we need to finish this off. This free end can't go anywhere. So we'll tie ourselves a better half. And really, I think I'll even move this, this block. I'll be a little bit A little bit particular about my orientation here. To keep this pin from potentially slamming into the base of the tree. So that's it, cow hitch. So another reason that I like using dead eye slings is because you know, we already went over how to tie a cow hitch, but what's nice is like, let's say I don't want to rely on just this rigging point. I want to tie all of these together. I can do that really easily. So I tie my cow hitch here. And then if I'm worried about movement of this stem, depending on the way I'm loading it, okay. back this up. But yeah, now if hypothetically I was seeing a lot of loading here and I was worried about movement of this stem or this top or whatever it might be. I can tie these two together and change the way that I'm introducing forces in the tree. Here we have a nice big tree and our sling's not long enough for us to tie a cow hitch. So we could tie a timber hitch. So the timber hitch, we'll take our leg here, go around the eye and underneath. And we're gonna create a series of tucks. We're gonna want these to be long. We don't want them to be short. We wanna maximize our surface area here. So we're gonna go around, let's see, three, four. We're gonna try to go at least seven times.
So we'll finish this off with a half hitch here. To make sure it doesn't go anywhere. One thing that we want to remember about this timber hitch is it matters which way you're choking the eye. You want your load to be down or against this choke. You want the load to be coming from this direction because what could potentially happen is this whole thing could slip around the tree. So, timber hitch. One more way you could use your dead eye sling. Well, let's say maybe your sling's not long enough, you can't tie a timber hitch. You could just tie a running bowling. Okay. Got a nice, small, nice, strong rope here. Of course, you do want to be thinking about the way you're loading this, the weight of the pieces and things like that. But this can be a good choice depending on your circumstances. So as we've seen, dead eye slings are extremely versatile. They're actually one of the most cost effective, the lightest weight because they use the least amount of material. Um, for me, that's my go-to. My truck, you'll find dead eye slings. So don't hesitate. Get some now for Intergalactic Dead Eye Sling Day at Rock and Earth.